Welcome to Boudoir and Beyond, the podcast where we explore all things boudoir, sexual pleasure, and photography. I'm your host, Ariana, and in each episode, we'll discuss the latest trends, share insights, and answer all of your pressing questions. So join me as we delve into this intimate world and expand our knowledge and desires. Let's get started. Okay, so on today's episode, we're going to talk about things that guys do that are attractive for no reason. And this is my friend Melinda. Um, We've been friends for several years and we did Beachbody together. She kind of got me into the whole like fitness, which now it's called body, but the whole fitness industry and stuff. And I wanted to have her here to talk about some of these things and then kind of cover a little bit of some other topics. So um, I'm going to read them off and we're going to talk about kind of like our experiences of what we think is hot and whatever. Um, Last episode, we did X, so I felt like this was what we needed to do for the next one. Before I start reading the list, I want you to tell me what yours is. Okay, so mine for sure is men with a tool belt. With a tool belt? Yeah, whenever they like fix something. Okay, Mr. Fix It. Yeah, Mr. Fix It. (laughs) Um, Hands behind their heads whenever they're laying there just relaxing Yeah, for sure. Um, and you've been married how long? We've been together 15 years, been married for 11. Okay, yeah. And so even after all of this time, you think those same things are like what keeps oh, yeah. you attracted? Yeah, as soon yeah. as he goes like up on a ladder, I'm You're good. like, I'm yeah. done. I'm, like, okay. <laughs> I'm <Panda> good. I'm <laughs> <laughs> If we didn't have three kids, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, mine is for sure the veiny arms like after a guy goes to the gym and just has that like pump like ooh, that gets me going <laughs> um the other one is a guy's morning voice oh yeah like, that when raspy, they first like they're yeah, still when sleepy. they first wake up i'm like a voice like does it for me if you have a good voice like a good sexy voice and then my other one is whenever they wear, wear like a plain black tee i don't know what it is like the black t-shirt yeah. kind of thing it doesn't have to be a v-neck it can just be but it's usually like the short you kind of see like their muscles yeah, yeah, there. yeah and i don't know what it is about the black tea because like funny. white i don't know i feel like white is the kind that like my dad wears like <laughs> <laughs> underneath his the button-ups. classic look yeah yeah the, so the black's dark yeah and <laughs> kind of like mysterious sexy. yeah and you know that's my vibe so those are like my top three <laughs> <That's so funny. laughs> but i'm gonna read Um, Obviously, like always, I do my little research and stuff. So I'm going to read them off. So um, a guy that can teach you something. And I mean, it could be like anything for me. Like it's always been something about business or maybe something that I didn't know. Yeah. And it just, I don't know, it like draws me and I'm like, oh, you're smart. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> just tell me more. <laughs> yeah. Um, the next one says, when they change their hat from the front to the back. So I don't know what it is about like. Well, I feel like, I'm like, I wish I had an example. Yeah. The front's like, okay, let's do stuff. And then like the back's like, okay, now we're really going to do stuff. Yes. Like, let me get comfortable. Yes. Let me let me get ready for this. <laughs> and I, f- I don't know. I, I With a hat, I feel like it's casual, very like, I don't know. As soon as they turn it to the back, I'm like, what are you doing? Just kind of gives them like that wild vibe. Yes. <laughs> and the other one that kind of like piggybacks on this is where they'll take the hat off to like fix their hair and then put it back on. It's usually like facing the other way. We don't know what it is, men, but like that is yeah. attractive for no reason. Like, get the hat. Yeah. If you don't have one, always wear definitely a hat. get it. But don't hat fish people. Oh, yeah. I was going to say that until I take their hat off and like put yeah. it back on. Just put it back on. I actually have. <laughs> I was like, I have a little story about that. Um, my, I have a little sister. She's probably going to kill me for saying this, but I have a little sister who is in her younger 20s and she's like on dating ups and stuff. And she's told me, she's like, you know, a lot of the older men, the ones that like are in their 30s, she was like, they hatfish you. Like they'll, you think they have that hair. And then it's like the receding hairline. And I'm like, yeah, that's how most of them look my age. Yeah. Like, what are you going to do? I mean, there's no, only so much you can do. You know, with there's that. only so many fish in the sea. You got to yeah. take what you can get. <laughs> but I feel like when it comes to that, like, okay, for example, Jason Statham. Yeah. The Rock. You know, like all of them, when they wear hats, I mean, like, they still look good bald. <laughs> yeah. Some are made to be like, bald. Yeah. I'm like, I'm here for it. <laughs> okay. So the next one, when they lean against a doorway. Yeah. What is it about that? I'm like, is it the, is it the, the, slide. the arm yeah. kind of like flexing when they oh, bring yeah. their arms up or what was it that you said earlier? It was something about like the movies. Oh yeah. Cause that's what they do in the movies. Like they're like 
just trying to be sexy and yeah. they're like leaning back and like they put their hand behind their head yes, or like that and yeah. then like they grab the chin. I feel like we're so accustomed to what growing up and like watching movies like that that are very like we, we still believe I, I don't in the fairy say tales. That they're exaggerated. <laughs> they are. <laughs> but they're they definitely are. <laughs> exaggerated. So we we've like kind of grown up you know, thinking, oh, this is how a relationship is supposed to be. Yeah. Or like what girls find attractive. Or- yeah, it's exactly what we saw seen in the movies. Yeah. Exactly what we see in the movies. The hair shake they do after a shower. So when a guy is like coming out of the pool or like out of the shower or whatever, and they're like dripping wet and they do that little like <laughs> <laughs> like the dog. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> they got that dog in them. Okay. <laughs> I feel like the equivalent to the guy is like when the girl's coming out of the water. And, and then like, she puts her hair back like the Baywatch, like yes. the slow motion. <laughs> when they put their hand on the passenger seat headrest to turn to like back the car up. Again, I think it's more of like a movie thing. I mean, yeah. my dad does that. But like I obviously don't find it attractive that my dad does it. But And I'm trying to think like back to maybe like the dates that I've been on yeah. or when a guy has done that. And I could see how it could be attractive, but it's never been like a thing yeah. for me. Well, now there's cameras too, so I don't feel like yeah, they most really people aren't doing that. Yeah. But yeah, for some reason that just that gets us. Yeah. So like if you know how to back up a car, there's another one on this list and I'll read it later, but it's similar to a car thing. When they help you carry your bags. And it's not necessarily like obviously women we carry purses around yeah. all the time. It's not like, oh, hold my purse. Yeah. It's more of like if I'm coming to stay the night and I got like my overnight bag or, or like luggage. we go on a trip, yeah. yeah, like yes, carry my bags for me, like be a man. Yeah, I'm like I want to see your muscles. I want to see how much I'm you can struggling. Lift. So can you can you just like show me that you are masculine? Take yes. my bags. Yeah, I love that you said masculine because I would have said manly. <laughs> Masculine. masculine works too that's that's a little bit better the chin lift to make eye contact with yes. you which you mentioned i don't know what it is about that because i i know for sure i have trouble keeping eye contact with people yeah and it's something that i recently discovered about myself that's so funny I i'm don't like know i'm why. like an eye contact person like yeah. look me in the eye with everything and if someone and like doesn't i'm like what's wrong like, yeah what's i'm like going it's on? not even intentional to me it's like i'm i'm processing my next thought so i automatically like look up in a way to That's keep so funny, talking yeah. it's like you're going into your brain like what am i yes. gonna talk about next yeah and i feel like when i've done the podcast and stuff like now i have to yeah <laughs> stare at you i'm like look, look at me, me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah the chin lift that guys do like yeah. i don't know what it is about that like look up at because him. in the movies there's always that guy in the corner and he grabs the chin like look mm-hmm. at me and then you're like then they Kiss, obviously. There was but. another one, and I don't have it written on here, but it's also when guys are, uh, when you're like at a bar or out and about, and it's really loud wherever you are, and they want to like get closer to you and listen to you. It's when they lean in and whisper in your ear or, you or little, repeat, yeah, yeah, like repeat yourself. I didn't hear what you said, and they like whisper in your ear. Mm-hmm. Ooh. <laughs> I'm like, take me home. It right sounds now. like that, the goosebumps all over your body. You're like, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when the chin lift happens. I feel like a lot of girls would probably think like, oh my God, he's ruining my makeup. <laughs> <laughs> my contour. My contour line. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get makeup all over your hand. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Yeah. I, I. That's just like my intrusive thoughts now thinking about it. When you're play fighting and they pick you up. What is it about that? Because the masculine, they're strong. They can pick you up. Yeah. And what else small, can they do? I'm like, anybody pretty much can pick me up. But like, if it's a guy that I like, obviously, like, I'll be like, yeah, the play fighting. And then you pick me up and take me. Yeah. You know? like, <laughs> I'm okay. Like, where are we going? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have all the control. <laughs> yeah. The one handed shirt removal. So when they reach back and they pull the shirt off of them, definitely a movie thing. For but- sure. A movie thing. But when they're all sweaty and then like, like just take it off. Okay, so this is funny. When I shoot couples for a boudoir, I always have the guys do that pull. It'll be either the one that crosses like this, like over their head. Um, and then the one from the back. And I'll have like my clients, like their wife or spouse or whatever. They all come and like pull from the front too. Okay. But, but it's, it's something about like… Like when guys stretch and like the shirt pulls up a little yeah. bit, and you, and you can, can see, see their they're like <laughs> those little, what is it, the, the little the V-cut? V-cut? yeah, yeah, or the um, what is it, the happy trail? Yes, 
like, what is it? Mm-hmm. I'm just like a little like Do we skin even exposure. I'm like, ooh, <laughs> take it off. <laughs> Especially in Texas right now. Yeah, We're hot. in the triple digits. It's hot. Take it off. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm good it's with okay. it. We're good. The guiding hand on your lower back. So similar to what we were talking about, like going out to a restaurant or a bar or yeah. whatever, and they're trying to guide you to go you know, yeah. further into the crowd or closer to the bar or whatever Or whenever it is. they put their hand like back to like grab your hand Ooh. or push you to the side. Like if they're walking in yeah, front of you. Yeah, if they're and like they trying wanna... to get through that crowd and yeah. then like they put their hand back to grab a hold of yours. Yes. Or they mush, they take you from one side and put you on the opposite side if you're yes. on the outside. And I'm like, okay. I love that. Yeah. That was actually on our last episode. Um, it was an ick that when guys don't know the sidewalk rule yes. and they don't move you. So obviously we find that attractive. So do Obviously. Do it. <laughs> Um, I had another one to piggyback the, the guiding hand or whatever. <laughs> That's not what I meant. The piggyback. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever like you're in the car, like let's say you guys are going on a trip with like friends or whatever, and both guys are sitting in the front and the girls are in the back when he like reaches back to like grab your oh, leg. Oh yeah. And I feel like that goes back to love languages and like what people. Oh, for sure. That's a touch. Yeah. Yeah. A physical touch yeah. thing. Yeah. And I've seen it a lot on, um. I think it's like Instagram and TikTok where girls would like film like yeah. the guy, his, like his, his love hand. language is physical yeah. touch and he's like reaching yeah. back to like grab her Aww. leg or like her foot. And I, I talked about it in the last episode. I'm not a foot person, but like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, please don't touch my feet. <laughs> but if it's, if it's the person that I'm like dating and like they want to like give me a foot massage, I'm yeah. not going to say no. Like, yeah. okay. As long as you don't stare too hard. <laughs> Ooh, the post-workout look when they're all sweaty. Yeah. And then they take the shirt and off. And then they take, they the, take shirt the shirt off. off. I'm like, ooh, it's a strip tease. <laughs> you can just go all the way. Just take it all off. <laughs> I'm following you to the bathroom after that. You mentioned this one, the fixer. So a guy that takes initiative yes. to fix whatever's broken in your home. So for example, my, um, what is it, the fire alarm? Yeah. When it beeps, I would much rather <laughs> call the guy that I'm dating and be like, hey, come fix this over the freaking maintenance guy at the apartment yeah. complex. I'm like, I'm not trying to see your butt crack. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely what you're going to see because you're going to be up on that ladder. Gross. <laughs> Can't do it. But a guy that fixes things, there's just, you said the tool belt, like, I don't know. It's hot. It, is it like the man in the uniform yes. kind of thing? More than likely. That's what it's from the yeah. movies. From the movies. Once you know, again, the guy we go comes back. over. We've been bamboozled. Change, like, <laughs> Come change my oil. <laughs> <laughs> or teach me how. Yeah. Just change no, my oil. I want to see him like doing it. Yeah. I mean, I'll watch you, but I don't. <laughs> I don't want to. It'll go in one ear. I don't think I'm going to be paying attention to what you're saying. (laughs) Honestly, (laughs) take notes. I'll be like, oh, I didn't learn the first time. Do it again. Yeah, (laughs) my oil needs changed again. (laughs) How often are you supposed to change your oil? I don't even know. After like, like, is it a hundred thousand miles or ten thousand miles? That sounds like a lot. A hundred thousand. I feel like it is. How many miles are on your car? (laughs) Not that many. I just got my oil changed. Because I'm like, I always look at the um, sticker because I take my car to See, the See, my light just turns on. My oil light. You wait until the light turns yeah, on? Yeah, I don't want to change the damn thing. <laughs> I'm actually pretty good about taking care of my car. Like, my, you've been in my car. My yeah, car's clean. It's very clean. It's, it's very clean. <laughs> <laughs> the shoulder lean in bed. So when they're, you the mentioned it, when they're bringing me. their arm behind their head yes. and like to their neck. And they just like, lay and then there. you can kind of see their tricep popping. Yeah. yeah, and the bicep, yeah. and everything. I'm like their abs if they have their shirt off, which <laughs> they should. <laughs> well, some men don't have yeah. abs, but you know, it's a, and if you don't, it's okay. But it still looks hot. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, just do the the little shoulder lean, mm-hmm. like lean back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one, this one is one of mine. Um, but it was on this list, and it says when they drive one handed. So like this, yeah, and then like they grab your hand with the other one. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Unless they're driving a stick, which yeah. is still like I but would then, still like, put my hand yeah, on, on top the of, on top of his on the mm-hmm, stick shift, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and then like when they just turn with one hand, yeah. I've been I I drive like that. I'm like I drive one handed, but lean back. But when a guy does it, there's something about when a guy does it because he has control. Yeah, it's that control, especially in a sports car. I'm like, does Josh still even have it? Yeah, he yeah, is, yeah. Ugh, I'm so jealous. Yeah, he has that mm-hmm. and a motorcycle now. So sheesh. Yeah. Have you gotten on the motorcycle? Yeah. 
I love it. Yeah, yeah you so do. Much fun. I love the wind. Well, I have to wear. Oh, I wear a helmet. But right. Yeah. I still have my You're hair like, down. I love the wind in my hair, but I have a helmet <laughs> on. But at the bottom, because my hair's long. Yeah. Still, yeah. It's still. Do you have a leather jacket? Yes. I have do a leather you? Leather jacket. Yep. Do you have the leather boots? They have, they have boots, but they're not leather. Okay, they're the ones that you're supposed to wear. Yeah. Like the real ones. Yeah. That's I got all sexy. the gear. Look at you. Date nights. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, how far do you go? On the we go to like Legacy. Really, all the way there. Yeah. Woo. It was funny because the the valet could not park it because they don't know how to ride motorcycles. So we're like, oh my can God. we just park it here for yeah. you? And they, they let us, but I'm like, I don't want to. I didn't think it. about that. Yeah. That's so funny. They're not. I, I don't remember who I was talking to, but they were talking about how they had a sports car. Yeah. And they didn't want them, like the valet parking it or whatever. So they were like, can I just park it myself and like leave it here? And they Normally were, they let you. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'd be scared yeah. to park somebody else's like sports car. I'd be like, eh, I don't know. Well, what the one doing. time we left the top down on the Corvette and the guy parked it under a tree and a bird crapped all over his car, like everywhere. It was awful. <laughs> so that's was another it, thing. Was it like in the middle of the day or at night? It was like dinner time. Yeah. What? Mm-hmm. Oh my God. I would have been so pissed. Oh, he was. Yeah, yeah. sure. They they paid for the cleaning. Oh, they did? Sure. Yeah. He went and said something to him and they paid for it. So, which was nice of them. But yeah. I'm like, you don't Come park, on. Don't put Common it under sense. a tree with the top down. Buddy. Yeah. Like on the car, okay, but inside. Was it like white poop? Yes, <laughs> it was the white one. It was the white one. Did it stain? It did a little bit. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. So he was really frustrated. That was yeah. one of his older Corvettes. Corvettes. Yeah, yeah. Not the newer one that he has. When they use your first name in a conversation randomly. See, I always feel like I'm in trouble if they use my name. Yeah. I'm, you, I'm babe. Just call me babe. Just call me babe. Yeah. You I think call that's me not, anything else and you're like, yeah. What did I do? Yeah. I'm like, oh, you said my name. Are we still together? <laughs> I think it's kind of sexy. Yeah. When a guy like will randomly say your name. Uh, I do. I do get that though. Like I for sure I'd be like, why are you calling me? Yeah, my because name? I mean, I'm always babe. Like it's always, hey, you or babe to mm-hmm. me. So if he goes Melinda, I'm like. You're like, oh, did I forget something? <laughs> yes. <laughs> did you want lunch? Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't serve you. <laughs> are you hungry? And I feel like a lot of these two could be. More like when you first start dating somebody versus, I mean, and when I did the research and stuff, like it was, it was just kind of like all over the place. It wasn't necessarily that people were single and like dating or whatever. Cause I feel like a lot of these two like can work with marriages. Yeah. I feel like most of them have like all those things Josh does. And I'm like, okay. Cause I've heard that guys like it when you call them their name. I'm going to have to try it. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) What do you call him, babe? Also like just, just babe. Yeah. Hey, babe. Yeah, just well, you have to like drop it randomly. I'm gonna record it. That's the way I'm that gonna it. record it and send it to you. Please do. <laughs> I would love to thing. see that. <laughs> see, would feel like he's like, huh? Like, yeah. <laughs> Wait, did you just say my name? But is it Josh or is it Joshua? I call him Josh. Okay. I've never called him Joshua. Is that his legal, like yes. his government name? Yeah, he, his government name is Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> just say Joshua out of nowhere. Yeah. Tell do it whenever like you don't have a towel in the, <laughs> in the shower. Oh, there you go, Joshua. Yeah. Can you get me a towel? <laughs> he's gonna be like uh-huh. <laughs> did you just call me by my name yes <laughs> when he's good with kids or animals yeah i feel That's like kids like and softy. animals not just that but kids and animals can tell you a lot about a person yes if a, like an animal they read is, yeah they feel they the energy the yeah for sure mm-hmm. and if they're not good they the kids are scared automatically you're like uh uh-uh. that energy's off. not right yeah. no matter how cute they are <laughs> yeah I'm like, ooh, that might be a good um, little test for people that are single. Take your dog. Always take your dog. And see what happens. See if they freak out. Uh-huh. I, my one friend, she was dating a guy that wouldn't come to her house because there was dog hair. And I'm like, red Wait, flag. so how would he know? Because he's been in her house. Okay, so but, he had already been. Yeah. So and then he didn't want to come back he, because of that? And he told her that he didn't like dogs. And I'm like, you don't like, like, who doesn't like dogs? That's weird. Like, unless you were, like, bit by a dog. But even at that, mm, yeah. I mean, Brody was bit by a dog, and he still loves dogs and wants yeah. a dog. So, <laughs> tells you a lot about a guy. Yeah. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah. I, I have actually thought it was weird when guys get cats. <laughs> it is. That's, like, a cat woman thing. Like, you, ladies that are, like, cats. I, I don't want to. Cat know. ladies. Yeah. What is it? Yeah. That's, how, that's yeah, the that's term. Yeah, that's a cat right? lady, right? <clears throat> that's, they just want to grow old with their cats. Yeah. Which is fine. But when a man has a cat, it's kind of weird. It's like, why do you have a cat? Why don't you get a turtle? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what is the alternative of a dog? But obviously not a cat. Like yeah. if you were a fish. <laughs> maybe they're into like like 
okay, if you have a fish, you need to have like an aquarium. <laughs> yeah, like a big <laughs> like aquarium. Like a whole, like you're really yeah. into it kind of Yeah. Thing. I don't know if I That would be ever... too much though too. At the same time, I'm like, why do you have a huge ass aquarium <laughs> in your Maybe house? they're obsessed with the ocean. I'm like, I don't think I've ever met a guy that wasn't a pet person. Yeah. Or maybe I'm just not attracted to guys. But <laughs> because you shouldn't be. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Because that's weird. Yeah, it's weird. I have a dog. So I'm like, if my dog doesn't like you. That's the first sign. Mm-hmm. First red flag. Right with there. With a guy. Yeah. Because with girls, Peanut's a little. Oh, like, Peanut likes me. So. Yeah. Yeah. It does depend on my He person. brings me his toy right away. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Peanut is a boy. I Everybody thinks my dog is a girl. I'm really? Like, he's wearing a blue collar. Uh, he looks like a boy to me. He's a boy dog. Yeah. But anyways, I'm I'm going to have to like dye his hair. Like, you know how people do like the <laughs> Or little... just get him a little bandana that says I'm a boy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if my dog doesn't like you, it's not happening. <laughs> you're, you're not allowed to come over anymore. The sweats and hoodie combination. And I added gray sweatpants for brownie points. And if you've been... Following me for a while on Instagram, we talk, we joke about it all the time when it's gray sweatpants season yes. and we'll post all these memes or whatever, but um, there's just something about the gray sweatpants. They can't be raggedy. No. They it, can't it, be, be like, like stains all over yeah, them. Yeah, ew. And holes in the butt. Like, are you eating wings in your bed with these? <laughs> More than likely. <laughs> Actually, no, I say that a lot. I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like that, it has to be like a clean combination. Yeah. It, and that will also kind of like piggyback into guys that dress well. Yeah. Because if you don't know how to dress yourself. Yeah. And I'm like, like, it's okay if you, if you wear, um, what is it? Like the, the jogger outfits. Like if you're an athleisure guy or like you're very athletic and that's like what majority of the stuff you wear. But like, what are you wearing on dates? Yeah, that probably. <laughs> They're probably still single. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm pretty sure there's like websites and stuff that you can like sign up for and oh, yeah. they'll like send, send you clothes, clothes yeah. right? Oh, yeah. I forget what the – I mean, girls, there's girls have one of like that. The like Stitch a version. And Okay, that's like the name. That. Yeah, I but I remember. feel like guys can get the same box. Yeah. But, yeah. I'm like, do guys even hire – stylist maybe if you live in like new york yeah maybe if like you're like higher up or something and you need the help but yeah i don't feel like guys, feel just, like guys do it. just don't try th- these days to or you have to be brought up with a mom that like taught cares. you how to dress that actually cares yeah like you cannot wear that out like please <laughs> yeah. do not wear that <laughs> to a date yeah crocs don't no do it don't absolutely do not it. <laughs> I'm like, ick. We're over here supposed to be talking about the things that are attractive. I'm like, let's go back to the ick. No the crocs. crocs. No. When they do take a deep breath and they do the back stretch. So they're like. Mm-hmm. That whole, and then they put their arm around you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's very like little kid. It's so like grease. They start learning it at what? Like 13. Yeah. They're like, like where they slowly <laughs> put their arm like. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think about it like that until you said it, but um, I I saw the uh, it was like an example um, on TikTok of somebody that did that, and it's basically like when they're in the car and they like stretch, or um, when they first wake up in yeah. the morning and they like you know throw their legs over the bed yeah, and then they it's like up a big stretch. stretch. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I want to see With all that of morning your back voice. muscles. I'm I'm such a I'm like trying to think now of like the things that I find attractive. Like I love a guy with a good back and you have to have good arms. Yeah. You don't have to have abs, but abs help. Yeah. It definitely helps. <laughs> I'm like so superficial. <laughs> but you're not. I'm not. I take care of myself. Yeah. So you better take care of yourself yeah. too. That's I think it's so important in a relationship. Non-negotiable for yeah. me. If you're not a gym person or athletics, that's, that's going to be a no for me. When they can grow and man- maintain a beard. And we kind of talked about this like before we came. Yeah. Um, guys, if you grow that like patchy kind of yeah, beard. Yeah, if it's patchy, that's a no. You just just shave it yeah. off. It's a nice try. It was a good shot. Good shot. Or like maybe when you're single, try it out. Yeah. <laughs> but that could be why you're single. Yeah. <laughs> if you're trying I've to. I've seen date. like guys that will do uh, like just the mustache. Like they'll grow out the mustache. And we talked about this too. So like for me, I've always liked a guy 
that is like clean shaven. Yeah. I, I think it's fine if you grow a beard, but it has to, like, you have to take care yeah, of yeah, it. Yeah. You can't stink. You better not have crumbs in it. I mean, they it. make beard oil. You can For wash a it and then put beard oil in it. Yes. And it makes it shiny. Yeah. And looks so healthy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But I feel like you have to have a good barber too. Yeah. I mean, that Josh knows does how his to own. Like, trim it. He's and great at it. Well, if you had it for a long time, yeah. then it makes sense. Yeah. If you know what you're doing. Exactly. But you have to teach yourself that sometimes too. If you don't want to go to the Has he ever tried to like straighten it? (laughs) I mean, he takes, I don't know if he has or not, but I mean, he's in the bathroom and he's doing like the, he has like the scissors and he has like everything and he does it. So where does he leave the hair? He cleans it up. Okay. He always cleans it up. Have you seen that thing? (laughs) It's like a bib and it goes on the mirror. I've always thought that was so funny. I'm like, does it even work? I'm like, I don't know. Is it an Amazon product that just like falls off the mirror? Probably. Can't do it. Or I'm like, just, if you're like, leaving, just lay like a piece of paper towel in the sink as and you're doing it, and then, and then you can crumble it and throw it away. <laughs> yeah, it's not that hard. Yeah, because yeah, Mm-mm. the beard. I, I think again, like certain guys can pull it off, but if you don't take care of it, just don't do it. Just shave it off. Yeah, when they're really passionate about their work. Yeah, I'm a huge like work ethic kind of person because I was raised that way, mm-hmm. and so I find that attractive. Yeah. And I feel like oh, a lot of the things that now I've read, I'm like, I'm attracted to this. But maybe like in general, I, I feel like if a guy has like if he's like motivated passionate about it and like tells and just you, be motivated in yeah. life, you know, not just like laying around doing nothing all day long and wants to Lazy. Like, do better for themselves. You know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. what can I do better with what I'm doing right now? Yeah. I and software. I feel like as you get older, obviously, like your passions grow or change and you kind of like have to, you know, maneuver that. Oh, but for sure. When they talk to you about it, it, there's just, and we're just like, tell me more. Even though we might not have any idea what they're talking about, yeah. but I love listening to you. Yes. Like I'll go up into his work area and he'll start talking and like, these lines are going up this way and then down this way because he's trading. And I'm okay. like, yeah. Like stock market yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was actually one of them. I didn't write it down, but that was one that girls find attractive is when guys know a lot about the stock market. And they want to share it with us. Yes. That's what I like too, that he wants to like share what he's doing Mm -hmm. and i like to like learn about that yeah even though i have no idea i'm like expand my knowledge yeah i I have no idea what you're talking about but it's okay i'm listening (laughs) i'm listening i'm looking at your lips the entire time the whole time about other things (laughs) (laughs) the morning boys and and i mentioned it but yeah like when a guy okay i'm a sucker for voice notes if a guy sends me a voice note, especially in the morning, and he yeah, like, it's like tells deep. me what his like plans are for the day or just like tells me good morning, I'm like, done. Yeah. Send another one. <laughs> <laughs> like, Call me. <laughs> I didn't hear that. Can you can you send it again? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think the but it depends on the guy too. Like yeah. he has to have a sexy voice. <laughs> if it's and Not I actually manly. mentioned this in the last episode. I was like, I actually hate my voice. <laughs> I don't like listening to it and I'm like, I'm on a podcast, like talking and stuff. But um, a guy's morning voice is just, there's something about it. I don't think anyone likes their voice. Really? I hate my voice. Yeah, Yeah, you too. If I hear it, like when I watch my reels and stuff and I'm like, ooh. (laughs) I'm like, (laughs) delete. (laughs) You're like, nobody needs to see this I'm like, you know what? I'm just sending it. I'm just going to send this through because everyone has to hear it because that's my voice. (laughs) Yeah, I don't, I don't know what it is. It's, I actually... I think I read that it was the way there's something like in your ear. Yeah. And when you listen to yourself, it sounds differently to you. And yeah. then it does on a recording or like. It definitely does. Like when I hear myself talk now, it does not sound like whenever I watch myself. Like when on you a watch video. it back. Yeah. Not yeah. even close. But it, that makes me wonder like if guys think that girls' voices are attractive too. I feel like, okay, if you're a singer, like a good singer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I can sing. <laughs> It's right now okay, but you're gonna hear it. <laughs> but I, I feel like that would be one for guys too. Yeah. Or like when girls laugh, like the way that I like a guy's laugh. Yeah. If I can make you laugh, the real laugh. Yes, the real, real laugh. Like the genuine, like yes, from like the valley, like really, really. Yeah. I feel like that just sounded like Santa <laughs> laughing, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yes, I know exactly what you're talking about because whenever Josh does that, I'm like, that's his real laugh. I think it's yes. so hot. Yeah, so it's crazy because you're like, it's a laugh, but. But it is. And it's con- contagious. Laughs are contagious. They really so are. I'm like, let's keep these good vibes going. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The next one says, okay, making direct eye co- contact across the room. So like, let's say you're at a party or I don't know, I guess like at a restaurant and like you're coming back from the bathroom and you're like making that eye contact, like keeping that eye contact. There's something like so sexy it's about like it. It's like the energy that coming yes. from your eyeballs, like. 
I want to get naked. Yes. Right now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just take me home. Forget dinner. Okay. So we love eye contact. Yes. Eye contact's big like, for me. Always, you know, keep looking at me. <laughs> When they're rolling up their sleeves, so you see his forearms. So the button up, the just roll it, but slowly, cardigan. yeah, like that slow like, motion. <laughs> in slow motion. Let me record you really yeah. quick, um, because it goes back to like the veiny arms. I'm like, I want to see your forearm. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and the if you got scrawny forearms, we got problems. <laughs> <laughs> Someone skipped arm day. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. Um, but that's a good one, especially, yeah, like when you come home and like you're trying to take the shirt off. Yeah. Um, and that's another one that I do in my, uh, couple shoots. Like I'll have a guy bring a button up shirt and I'll have them do like where they like start taking it slowly off. And I, I always like to watch the wife to see their reaction. But it, yeah. It's kind of like, um, whenever you go to a wedding and you have to watch the groom when the, wa- when the bride comes out. Oh down the yeah. Aisle. Just it's to see their like reaction. That, it's that like, Yeah. That att- initial attraction. So I love doing it in couple sessions because they're always like, take it out. The wife is just like, yes, <laughs> do it again. That's so funny. It's so good. When they have a solid book collection, we like big brain energy. A book collection? Yes. Okay. But it's like personal development kind of books? I, I, it wasn't specific. Okay. So maybe it's just the guy that reads. Okay. That's not because one for it me. goes back to the yeah. <laughs> expanding your knowledge or oh yeah because that's that's a good point yeah but it's not really a turn on for me yeah but I mean everyone, having a big book collection yeah I like a guy that reads yeah I like a good tool collection <laughs> <laughs> I'm like you're going into their garages like what do you yeah. got here like, what kind of tools you got <laughs> do you got a toolbox <laughs> tool belt okay <laughs> we're good <laughs> i'm like have you given him one as a gift yes you have <laughs> of course you i were like i'm gonna go pick out this specific one because and i want to see a brown you... leather really yeah. oh yeah does is it personalized no i uh, probably should do that though the m or what is it the j and... yeah j and m j and m that'd be so cute that'd be a good photo shoot i'm like giving me ideas who wants to come and <laughs> Do a shoot for their wife. With a I don't usually shoot men by themselves. Well, you um, can have the wife there too. I could just grab yeah, out I'm the like, hammer. I'm like, come and be the hype girl. <laughs> Let me grab your hammer. <laughs> the real hammer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> None of the funny business. The plain white or black tea. Um, I still think I get the, the black plain tea. white thing with you. Like with yeah, it's just that's like a dad thing. The yeah. white tea and jeans and the I feel sneakers. like if it's the V neck, yeah, it's different. Yeah. If it's the V-neck, there's something sexy about it. I don't know because we go back to the same thing about movies. So, like, if you ever watched um, Step Up, yeah, is that it? The yeah, the, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, but he was dancing and he was yeah. fit. So, like, was it? But was it the, the he was short? also wearing. I think he was wearing like a wife beater. <laughs> well, I was gonna say like the cutoff, like the cutoff tees that yes. guys make themselves. Wait, are you talking about the ones that are like yes. really big here on the yeah. sides? Yeah, those are sexy. Yeah, but I like a gym guy, so which that's is like more like a gym thing. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, but yeah, if it's gonna be a, I, I just I don't have like anything against a guy that wears a black. Short sleeve shirt. It has to be like the fitted kind. Though. Yeah, if we're just wearing like a what is it called? Like the graphic tee on yeah. a date? I'd be like, Pokemon. Did you, do you sleep in that? <laughs> Pokemon. <laughs> Has a Pokemon shirt on. <laughs> Yikes. I'd probably just walk away right yeah. then. When they speak a second language or an attempt to learn. Okay. And that, I feel like also, accents. Kind of, like yes. an accent. Yes. I didn't even think about Like accents. that Australian accent. Mm. Um, that's one of the things that I love about watching Formula One. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime they do the interviews, I'm like, Mm, please talk some more there's just something like attractive about that like somebody that knows a second language and can like teach you Mm -hmm. and even me i know that's for me i get it all the time like say something in spanish that's so funny like i've heard that one before yeah (laughs) i'm like but that might be like their thing too yeah (laughs) yeah like you said maybe i shouldn't just like (laughs) get annoyed like leave me alone yeah but i think there's and it goes back to 
like them expanding their lo- knowledge and like wanting to learn more. Yeah. Learning a second language is hard. It, it really took is. Me four years to learn English. Well, English and even is now, so like, hard. That's such an insecurity for me. Like, I will sit here and like talk and to think you. about what you're saying. Yeah. Like, I have to, and I think that's why I have such trouble with eye contact. Um, eye contact like, is that the right my word? My brain is like doing this thing where you have to like switch languages because my first language is Spanish. Yeah. So I'm so used to like, Especially like, is that my, the right way to say it? Right. The conjugation. Yeah. And English is, is my pronunciation so hard to right. Learn. Yeah, because vowels and everything are so different. And I know people will argue with me and say, Spanish is hard to learn. I'm like, Well, for you it is, but because you know English. Exactly. It's a whole different thing for you. But yeah, yeah it is English is hard, believe it or and not. And now there's all these slang terms. That and too. There's so many different things. You're like, wait, what does that mean? Like, mm-hmm. is that part of the dictionary? <laughs> Yeah. There's so many ways to like pronounce different vowels too. So that will get you. And then like when you're writing the different ways, I don't know. I'm like trying to think of a word that could like be like similar, but not. And I can't even think of one right now. Like through and through. Like they're spelled two different like ways. Like throwing a ball. And I walk and then, like, through a door. Through. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. Like those mm-hmm. like you're like, what? How? That's actually an ick for me. <laughs> I'm like, we're not talking about eggs, but we're going to talk about Whenever they use the wrong one. Yes. Because, okay. And I actually told my friends this the other day. I was like, my, it bothers me when people don't read properly because I had to learn how to read. Like, I'm so meticulous about how I'm typing or like writing, even yeah. in text messages. Like, I'll go back and correct myself because I'm like... One, English is not my first language. But two, like, I don't want you to think I'm stupid and I don't know how I'm saying it yeah. correctly. I do that if I spell, like, your and you are wrong. Yes. Like, I will go and edit my writing. If I go back and read it, I'm like, oh, crap. I look like an idiot. Yeah. And if a guy sends it to me. And I, I know texting is, like, so informal. But also, yeah. like, do you really know how to spell? Yeah. <laughs> like, do you know which one you're actually using right now? Yeah. But guys that – and I think that – Goes back to maybe why I'm attracted to guys that read because I'm like, okay, if you're reading, then you you understand again the proper energy. Yeah, the proper term or like how to say it correctly or how to use it in the right sentence or whatever. But yeah, that's yeah, guys that can't spell. That's a nick for me. Yeah, I can see that. When a guy wears leather gloves. Oh, yeah, that's so (laughs) weird. That was so weird to me. And I don't know. Again, it goes, I'm like, it goes back to where do you live? But even at that, I mean, he's wearing leather gloves. Like, what does that mean? Like, he has money or something because he can afford leather gloves, maybe? Or like the trench coat. Yeah. Like, are you? I'm like, okay, leather gloves, like when you ride a motorcycle? Yeah, I mean, because you have to wear gloves. So maybe because he has a motorcycle. But at the same time, like, that's very random that he's going to put the gloves on. Is he going to go in the bedroom and put his gloves on? Like, that's kind of weird. Maybe that's a kink for people. You know, that's true. Because I like a tool belt, so. In the bedroom? (laughs) Hey, wherever. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, in the bedroom? Ooh, I just found another one. This one says, when they're being unaware of their own hotness. And then it says, when a hot person is oblivious to how much they could get laid. (laughs) <laughs> if they just tried a little harder, it's an immediate panty dropper. <laughs> and guys aware of it are the worst. When they know they're hot and mm-hmm. cocky, super cocky, gets up Don't my nerves. Do that. Ooh, this one, the five o'clock shadow. And and we mentioned that like I I like a guy with a clean look, but I also like a guy that hasn't shaved like in a couple of days. Um, I don't mind a beard, but again, if it, if yeah. it's taken care of, but I prefer a clean face. Yes, but if they got that five o'clock shadow, I'm like. Hey, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> there's something about a D voice. I guess they also could play into morning voice a little bit. Yeah. Because a guy with a deep voice is sexy. I'm like trying to think who has a deep voice. Vin Diesel. Mm-hmm. I don't. Yeah. I'm trying, I can't think of anyone who else has, has a deep voice. That's like, Morgan Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> Not Morgan Freeman. I'm like, how old is he? He's like 80. <laughs> Hence the age. I'm just hey. <laughs> hey, somebody might find that attractive. About it. <laughs> um, when they wear pants that fit properly, and that was actually an ick. Um, when guys like sag their pants and their yeah, boxer or like, show. Why is your butt crack showing? We don't want to see that. Like wear a belt. Wear yeah. Like you have like, to feel the air. You have to the on your air? butt on your butt crack <laughs> when your butt crack's hanging out. Like you have to be able to feel the breeze. Right? There is a breeze. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. I can there, feel it if my pants are too low. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you feel a draft <laughs> okay this one is kind of like controversial replying to your texts in a timely manner 
That's a huge thing for me. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't like to wait, <laughs> especially if I see that it's been read. Ooh. Yeah, if you have your red receipts on and then you're not replying fast, I'd be like, what's wrong with my yeah. text message? Like, did I say <laughs> something wrong? <laughs> but I'm an, I, I'm an overthinker, big time. Same. I overthink everything, even if it has nothing to do with it. Like, if he could have lost reception or, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. Like, because that does happen. Yeah. So I'm just like, oh. Uh, do you like double text, triple text? Yes. Like, hey, did you get my first one? Hello. Like, hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. Do you miss me? Because <laughs> I miss you. <laughs> Clinger. <laughs> Stage five. <laughs> I'm like anxious attachment style <laughs> revealed. <laughs> oh, this one's funny. When they wear socks that match his pants, flaunting his very sexy grasp of color scheme. That's pretty interesting. Yeah. I mean, as long as he wears socks. <laughs> <laughs> let's go back to that um yeah please wear socks at all times unless you have like nice looking feet because that was like a thing for a while with those like business shoes no socks like on the bachelorette oh, the ones that are like low cut yeah and they have no <laughs> socks on oh yeah on the bachelorette I, i'm like thinking back yeah you're right they used to like always do that they have like their pants would come up a little bit and like mm-hmm. you could, they had no socks on high water kind I'm of like, pants that has to smell so bad when you take off your shoe yeah i didn't think about that yeah all that sweat because you know they're sweating yeah men they're nervous speed sweat and they're nervous more. to meet the girl how do you what do you put like baby powder yeah i'm like baking talc. soda I, I would do baking soda baking soda baking soda because it but then, takes stink it soaks up this okay and you use it for vomit too. <laughs> like i'm just saying i'm like thinking but, as a yeah, mom now like it's an odor absorbent type thing. yeah yeah you put it in your fridge to get hey, maybe their smells. shoes smell like vomit i'm mm. just saying Wear Stinky. socks. Just wear, wear your socks. socks. Wear your socks. Do you keep those little like packets that come like in shoe boxes? Like when you get brand new shoes. Oh, I don't. Do you stick those? Yeah, that's Aren't a those? good idea. Is that what they're for? I think that's what they're for. The fresh fresh keeper things? The little things that have like yeah, little balls? Yeah, like do not eat. Yeah. Because <laughs> we have to know that. Don't eat people, them. People eat them. Um, yeah, I think that is is meant for keeping it fresh and soak up all the – I mean, they're kind of tiny though. I've never actually thrown them in my shoes now that I think I about it. Either. I just throw the box away with everything. Me too. I take them out and then throw it away. Now it's going to be like an experiment. <laughs> I'm going to try it with my next ones. I'm going to only wear them for running and then like Put, shove them in yeah. there to see if it actually helps. That's actually a great idea. Might hmm. be a whole new thing that you just figured out. Yeah. Because I've been I've been running three miles every day. I'm like, <laughs> I know my feet don't sink. <laughs> I'm like, somebody wants to come and smell my shoes. <laughs> but fetish. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Did I? I told you I dated a guy with a foot fetish. No, um, it was a long time ago. Um, but yeah, it was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> it was yesterday. Oh, no, 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 no. In high school, I sat beside a guy that had a foot fetish, and I would wear sandals. I had to stop because he would just literally the whole class like, stare, stare at, at my at feet, your feet, and it was so creepy. Ew, super. And creepy. so you always had to have like a pedicure, and did no. you pay for your no, no. <laughs> he sat beside me, and I started wearing tennis shoes every day because it creeped me out. Ew. I'm like, why are you staring at my feet? Those like are the guys was, that are like feet finder. I'm like, <laughs> like maybe I should like sell my feet on OnlyFans. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Make, some, Make money. some money. Start posting uh, Josh's feet on there. <laughs> I was watching a video. A TikTok. Yeah, a TikTok. And they were like, I was selling your feet. And he's like, for how long? And he, she was like, for a while when you're sleeping. I take okay, pictures. I saw a video on TikTok about that. But it was it was a daughter that sold her mom's feet and bought her a car. With like a brand new Mercedes. I mean, they're just feet. Yeah. yeah. I was like, that's, but that's a lot of money. I must have had some really nice feet. I'm like, mom, don't watch this. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a wrap for this episode of Boudoir and Beyond. I hope you enjoyed this intimate conversation and learned something new. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future episodes, you can reach out to me on Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast and follow us on all social medias. We're on YouTube, Spotify, and Instagram to stay updated on all things Boudoir and Beyond. And as always, stay curious and keep exploring your desires.